Okay, so my video in and in, in forums. I've seen a constant argument about measuring draw and input. And for starters, I'm not trying to be a smart ass here. I'm trying to learn. But you take an analog ammeter. Okay, now granted, this is a very the scale of this one is the it's the wrong meter for what I'm doing because I don't have a milliamp meter. This isn't this is an amp meter. But what you have is a built-in shunt. And really what you're doing is you're measuring the millivolts across, or the volts across the shunt. The shunt is filed. Tiny extra strokes are taken off of it to ensure its accuracy. If you buy from one brand, you probably get better quality control than, than another, okay? But at the end of the day, when you put this thing in line, you're doing exactly what other people are telling you to do, or sites, books, texts, in that if you take a resistor and you measure the millivolt drop across that with a DMM, is that not exactly what this thing is doing? I mean, there is no such thing that I have seen in the in the common marketplace as a millivolt or uh, sorry a an ammeter that somehow magically counts electrons moving through a conductor you're never doing that you're always measuring the voltage drop across the load the one difference I do see though however is that if you have a multimeter that gives you an RMS value instead of a typical cheap multimeter like I use. And that's one of the reasons why I use analog devices because while they're not RMS, the needle, I believe, will level off to the RMS more accurately than a digital multimeter that's not intended to be used for pulsing loads. So you tell me, 